congratulations if you're still here you're already a flying upload expert more or less and the last step we have to do now to finish the workflow is upload your designs so we still have here our three finished designs um, and if you go now out of the edit and to the upload you will see this designs already here this is because these files have an XML file in the background like we talked a few videos earlier and if the data is found that it can be uploaded it will be shown here I can uh, make another example um, let's say we empty this here then we just copy this design here and copy this design to the desktop and as I explained before here the tool when you now pay, um, drag and drop it in sorry it will look okay where is the XML on the on the desktop of course we just copy the image not the XML and that it will be empty no data in here if you now go to the upload, it will also not show here because no XML data is found, nothing to upload. Um, and this is why this is empty. So we kick that out just that you understand. We load back in the designs we have tagged. I just load in this tool, make it a little bit faster. Our listing is written. We go to the upload window and then we are ready to go. Um, let's say the first we want to upload is Redbubble. So we click on start. The, the platform will open and will log in. And at the same time, we will start Spreadshop.com. On Spreadshop.com, we get a little warning um, that the second design is not valid because the description is longer than 200 characters. Um, we can now say no, for example, go back to the edit. The second design was and it was 200 characters so let's make it a bit shorter um, and then go back to the upload section click on it and here the upload for spreadshirt.com will also start uh, i hope i configured everything right from the templates <laughs> um, that the upload is running through but i think so i did and um, yeah you see it is already um transferring all the data there for every design and uploads it and on rebubble the first one is already finished on spreadshirt.com it is in a moment at the template section and i hope i have selected the right one then it should also upload there. Yes, it does. Perfect. And you can see always here the progress. You can see here your free uploads. One was already finished in Redbubble, so you have minus one. And yeah, you see your upload is now automated. It's now um, extremely fast. Um, instead of doing it manually and also the cool thing is I will show you when the upload is finished now we are on the second design the second one is already finished on Rebel you will get here an upload report always in the end where it says hey we have uploaded two designs two were successfully uploaded you can also manage here um, and have a look directly on Redbubble itself, looks everything fine, perfect, click OK, then it will close. And now the upload history and the upload manager comes into play. When you now go back to the edit and click, for example, on the first design, you will see here Redbubble has now a color and Spreadshirt.com has now also a color. And this means, hey, it's uploaded, nice. And if you go to features, upload manager, you can also see this here. The first one was already finished. Um, that these two designs are already finished and uploaded on redbubble.com and now you see here it's now also finished for spreadshirt.com you can also click uh, here and have a look okay these two are uploaded looks everything fine text fine perfect click here okay then it will close again and um, Again, if you go now to the upload manager, you will see here, okay, perfect. Also the second design was uploaded and this information is always there. Throw them out, 
shut your PC down, I don't do it now, <laughs> um, pull it back up and then go back to the folder, put the designs in after one month, two months and you still have the data for example where it is uploaded, um, on what platform and so on and you see this is the magic and the advantage that Flying Upload gives you. It um, also helps you to understand always and have always the view, oh okay, already uploaded there, already uploaded there and so on. And another cool thing or another cool feature I will show you, oh, yep, it's still open. When you go now back to the upload and you click on spreadshirt.com, we uploaded a moment ago, or sorry, Red bubble. then the tool will tell you the following designs are already uploaded. So you don't have to be afraid that you upload something twice, for example. Simply click here, no, and then the upload will only start with the designs not uploaded. So of course these two are already uploaded, so um, it will start, it will, it don't will start now. <laughs> and, um, but if you have, for example, five or 10 designs in here and the first two are already uploaded and you click here, no, I don't want to upload the already uploaded designs. The eight will, just the eight will be uploaded that aren't uploaded in this moment. And um, yeah, this is how the upload works for Spreadshirt and Rebubble. And it's mostly, most likely the same for all other platforms. As I mentioned one last time <laughs> in the configuration guide and also on our YouTube, everything explained to every platform and yeah, it should be easy to also upload on these platforms. Okay, and um, this was everything to the upload. So you're now a flying upload pro more or less. Um, I think there will be a few next videos where I explain what you also can do here, what all other advantages that the tool has and um, also what you have in the pro version, for example. So see you in one of the next videos.